push through the door of no return Shackled on a ship, treated like I was no longer human Sent to a foreign land to be a slave Stood on that auction block while your money talked and your indifference waved And a country was born by hands that were tied, by backs that were whipped and torn. And I still raised your children. Why my family was sold, never to be seen again. They tried to break me down. They tried to kill my spirit, Lord, well. But I, I, I am still around. And have my voice and you're going to hear I'm free no darkness can turn out this light I'm free no truth can be turned into a lie I'm free no bullet no noose can kill my soul I'm free no Jim no crow no future until all of us free yeah, yeah. I'm free I'm free, 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 free. Mm -hmm. Okay, welcome to Face to Face. And today I'm sitting with Happy Tour. We're going to talk about the Sikh community in New York City. And before that, I would have to tell you then. Harpy has his own show, and one day he called me and he said, David, do you want to be in my show? And we're going to talk about voting right for legal resident. And so today, and also there to, is a today movie I'm trying to... <laughs> there is also a movie coming exactly. out. Yep. Right. So today I had to, <coughs> to respond to the invitation and ask him to come to no, this I, show face uh, to face. Well, Thank you so much, Harpy. Not a problem. I really appreciate for, uh, first of all, being a companion and a friend for so long and then uh, this invitation I really appreciate it. Thanks yeah, for having me. It's a me. pleasure to have you. So tell us a little bit more about the Sikh community in New York. What uh, I think th um, if we can go back to um, uh, the 9-11 situation and then maybe from there we can we can go yeah, to Yeah, uh, sure. Um, actually, you know, even though Sikh, the, that Sikh started coming to the East Coast after a um, couple of decades before they came to West Coast. Yeah. Okay, West Coast, uh, we have a long history, uh -huh. but East Coast is comparatively recent history. Uh -huh. uh, but, you know, we were trying to get established and then all of a sudden 9-11 happened. And the tragedy is um, the people, they take their frustration, their misunderstandings out on the people who they see who they assume based on what they have seen on the TV that mm -hmm. who did it. 9-11 mm -hmm. uh, was a horrible, horrible thing to happen mm -hmm. to anybody mm -hmm. in any city, in any mm -hmm. country. Mm -hmm. But then again, you know, to assume that those people who have been living here for, so many, years, for so many years, either New York or somewhere outside, yeah. that they may be a part of, uh, yeah. yeah. So that actually hurts you more than yeah. anything else. Yeah. Yeah. So um, since then, you know, uh, we had to go out and uh, as you know that uh, I did uh, more outreach than with the media and everybody else to make the people understand who we are, uh -huh. or what we believe in. And, um, so and now, but tell us, tell <coughs> us quickly, what, what are the principal beliefs of, of the Sikh community? Uh, we, we just believe in one God and, uh, uh -huh. you know, it's like basically same thing. You, you got to treat your human beings, uh -huh. other fellow human beings as fellow human beings. Uh -huh. And uh, from day one in, uh, in Sikhism, we have actually three principles. You know, it's like Kirt Karni Naam Japna Vant Shakna, which means you work. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You pray mm -hmm. and you share. Mm -hmm. Those are the three pillars mm -hmm. of the faith. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we basically, you know, put within Sikhism, we put a lot of importance in working hard, whatever your job yeah, is, yeah. you know, and uh, sharing, of course, uh, is part of. If you don't share, you know, then you really can't understand how to be a human being. Yeah. And I always say it's simply, you know, uh, 
just what is sharing. It teaches you how to open up your heart to everything else yeah. out there. Yeah. We were invi uh, inviting once to come to a temple. And, and then it was during lunchtime and we were invited to, to eat. Yeah. So and, and I mean, you fed like <coughs> 200 people in, in, in an hour. I was like, this is unbelievable. Yeah, yeah it, it's, it is. It's, it's like, you know, I always say, you know, um, for example, okay, you are holding money, uh -huh. all right? If you want to give it to somebody, mm -hmm. even if for help or donation or something, what do you do? Mm -hmm. You hold it, mm -hmm. then you give it up. Mm -hmm. When you are giving up, what do you do? You open up your hand. Mm -hmm. That's right. True. Yeah. So same way, you have yeah. to open up your heart also uh -huh. to let the other people, other communities, other cultures come in, grasp it, learn about it, mm -hmm. and uh, you know build those bridges mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as an acceptable person. So within Sikh religion, you know we are more inclusive than exclusive. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like you know. Uh, in our gurdwaras, uh, places of worship, anybody can come, can come in, it's open. anybody can eat, yeah. and they can walk out. Uh -huh, you uh -huh. don't have to worry about anybody yeah. telling you mm -hmm. to either pay, mm -hmm. or we will not serve you, yeah, yeah. or anything. The yeah. only thing is, you know, you have to, of course, uh, cover your head and sure. take off your shoes, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, and uh, the funny thing is after 9-11 happened, all right, the yellow cab and black car uh, industry people, yeah. mm -hmm. because there are a lot of uh, sex who are drivers, yeah, right? Yeah. They actually volunteered their services uh -huh. to those people who were looking for the survivors from World Trade Center, oh, wow. taking them from one place to, to another, another to another, till they said that, okay, we cannot go any further uh -huh. to find out uh -huh. where our missing person uh -huh. is uh -huh. Uh -huh. without charging a penny. Wow. Even if they spent five hours, six hours, not a single penny. Wow. They were like, you know what? And TLC actually honored uh, some of the drivers yeah. after that. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, so that, that basically shows uh, what the community is. And um, so we just expect to accept us the uh -huh. way we are. Uh -huh. You know, don't look at us just because we have the beard and turban that we are different from uh, somebody else. Sure. You know? And and but but what is the story with uh, with the police department? I know. I mean, or maybe we can start <coughs> before that. We can see what are the, <coughs> the main difficulties uh, to be sick in New York today. What what are the main well, challenges? Within, within New York City, uh, I feel that we are more accepted now. Yeah. All right. But still, there is one uh, factor which I have spoken to everybody, including the current mayor, mm -hmm. uh, Mayor Bill De Blasio. Yeah that you know the politician they will accept our money they will accept our votes that's true but they will not take us door to door for confessing walking out you know no. that okay no no you cannot you cannot do in the campaign no, they, you they, cannot they, go they, door to door no we we can do the, we can walk the campaigns being behind the doors uh -huh. but not up front with the candidates there are there are you know, I mean, there are only like two or three candidates who have really taken a sick along with them to canvas outside. Do you have names? I no. don't want to discuss <laughs> the names. <laughs> that, that will not be appropriate, but you know. Uh, okay. you no know, names. But, uh, okay. No, no. But you know, I mean, uh, I have uh, talked about it okay. uh, literally, you know, on the stages, on the screens, and otherwise also. Okay. And um, same thing with NYPD also. We are trying to make them, you know, allow the sex to serve in NYPD. Sure. And they're like, oh, well, because you have the beard and the turban, you cannot do this. It's complicated, this, this. Yeah. It's, And uh, I'm like, okay, the chief of army in India, they ca can be sure. a sick. Prime Minister of India can be a sick. Si Canadian police can have the sex. Uh -huh. Uh, in the UK, the police have the six. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that uh, Birmingham, Birmingham, Birmingham Palace, mm -hmm. where Queen lives, mm -hmm. they have the guards, Sikh mm -hmm. guards. Oh, sure. All right? Mm -hmm. World War I, the Sikh fought. Mm -hmm. World War II, the Sikh fought. Mm -hmm. They are accepted everywhere else. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, where does New York City is sleeping? Yeah. 
you know, and we what is a criteria? Mm. What seriously? What what are the? It's a rule. It's an. It's no, they 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 just give you all this. You know, if there is uh, you know some masks uh, they cannot uh, wear and this and that, and I'm like. You know, I, I literally had conversation with the previous NYPD commissioner, yeah. Ray Kelly, uh -huh. and we were talking about it. He was giving me all this uh, these reasons, and I asked him, I said, listen, my dad served in the Indian Army. Yeah. He fought, uh, he was in the middle of three wars, uh -huh. you know, two with Pakistan, one with China. Uh -huh. He came back home alive, thank God, but nobody questioned him of course. that you cannot go up front and fight. So why in NYPD, this, in, in New York City is not a war zone. Yeah. In the wars, if it is acceptable, why it cannot be in New York City? And so now you have, you have uh, sick cops? Like we, we do have clean shaved, yeah, we yeah. have those are clean shaved, but they shaved, cannot, you know, they cannot, they they cannot, they yeah. cannot wear the beard. No, they cannot have the turban and stuff, they cannot have the beard and, uh, beard and uh, serve as NYPD cops. Okay. You know, even though I told them, I said, listen, the best way to communicate to the others that six are as much part and parcel of this fabric of America, that get a cop, put him in the time scale. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You know, you don't have to do any advertising, anything, you know, but. So you know. now tell me, you are very proud. You just made a fantastic movie. What, tell us, what, what was the story about the movie? Oh. That, that's, a, you know, that's a, a unique experience. It took a long time to get the, yeah. that movie done. But uh, first, I have to give credit to uh, the script writer, Sarah Konokan. Okay. Okay. And she found me through a mutual friend who used to work for Daily News. Okay. And believe it or not, the role of a Sikh has, being uh, has been done by Sir Ben Kingsley. We have, it was Which it's, I, I, have <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, what can you expect? You know, the biggest actor yeah. of the world yeah. is playing the role of a Sikh, yeah. and still NYPD won't accept exactly. us. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You know. So, what is the name of the so movie? It's learning to drive. Learning to drive. It is coming out yeah. um, soon. Oh yeah, this month, uh, okay. 21st. It is getting released in New York and okay. LA, and okay. 28th it is uh, getting released all over. And you have been some America. festival. Uh, I hope so. I know that on 17th they are doing something special. Okay. I don't have the details yet, but I think it is part of the way they roll out okay. and the advertising uh -huh. and the media uh -huh. reach out to the public. Okay. But I have gotten some really good comments from some of the people who have seen it. Mm -hmm. Great. So I'm just waiting for it. Great. Yeah. We are waiting. We are all waiting. Oh, yeah. We're, we're yeah. Come. I mean, Oh, yes. S on the yeah. 17th, you have it in New York. I think we are invited to the primer. No? Do you have a ticket for me or something? Oh, like yeah. That's a, the, once I have the ticket for me, I will get it to you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Happy. Thank it you very much. Pleasure. Thanks thank for you. having me. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, and thank you're you. welcome. Thank you.